Well, hey there, welcome to Dad Life Tech. I'm just a dad who loves tech, and I thought I'd do an unboxing today of the Ubiquiti Unify 6 Lite access point. This is a new access point from Ubiquiti. I'm a big fan of Ubiquiti's products. They have a very easy to use interface and provide great service for their wireless access points as well as their um, other quasi enterprise networking gear. Uh, this just came in yesterday. I've been waiting for it for a while to upgrade my network to Wi-Fi 6. Um, I don't have that many Wi-Fi 6 devices, but I thought, you know what? I better get on this train because I want to future-proof a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and add it to my network and just show what that process is like. Here we go. Okay, nice compact box. About what you'd expect from Ubiquity. Here we go. Got some mounting screws. And I believe the size of this is the same or similar to the Nano HD. Uh, this packaging certainly is smaller, more compact. See that there? There's one port, PoE port. It does not have a pass-through port, which the wireless a APAC Pro does. Uh, but I would expect Ubiquity eventually would come out with a pro version of this that does have a pass-through port. Uh, good build quality, what you'd expect from Ubiquity. Uh, it's heavy. It has that kind of almost rubberized textured feel on the front. Um, and this is the, the launch version, not the beta version. So the, it was, this has been in beta for a couple months now. But this looks like the real version. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And we'll pull up Unify Controller and get it set up. Okay. So we'll wait for that. Usually there's the white glowing light. There it goes. And then that should turn blue eventually. And you'll notice here, it says Unify 6 on it. I don't recall, it's a little blown out there, but I don't recall previous generations of these access points saying the model number on the front. Uh, but that is something different I've noticed here on this one. So we'll go ahead and set this on the desk and pull up the controller. And real quick as we're waiting for that, this is the, the landing page on their website. Retail price is $99. I bought two of them. I've got another one still in the box right here. I'm going to be replacing the one in my office as well at my house. Um, but you see here, that's what we got. Notable difference is this has 2x2 two two MU MIMO, uh, whereas the Nano HD has 4x4, four four, and I believe the APAC Pro has 3x3. Three three. I'm running a UDM Pro. This is at my office. And I currently have just one AP. That's a Nano HD. And here it goes, the APAC light. Go ahead and adopt that. See it went blue. And we'll see if there's a firmware update on it. That looks to be the latest firmware though, 5.43. Provisioning. This is supposed to work with the existing Nano HD mounts as well, uh, but it does come with the metal backplate as well as the plastic connector that locks into place behind the um, your ethernet cord there. Okay, so it shows we're connected, no clients. I only have two Wi-Fi 6 devices here in my office, which are both uh, actually hardwired on ethernet. So they're not gonna join this automatically, but uh, maybe for in another video, I'll do a test where I actually have the devices join the Wi-Fi 6 AP network and then do file transfers between those and see what the throughput is on this device. But overall about what you'd expect from Ubiquiti, uh, nice device, nice packaging, real compact packaging. That is a change I've noticed from other uh, Ubiquiti access points. Some in the past they've provided PoE injectors for, but they stopped doing that within the last year or two. Um, so that's the review or the unboxing for today, Unify Access Point 6. And uh, thanks. Tune into the next one.